Yes, Liz. On June 4th, 10 men will approach the altar to be ordained priests. Each one has an individual journey that has brought him to this point, but all feel that they are called to serve. I want to bring God closer to people and people closer to God. Born in Haiti, Deacon Jason Agenis has been studying to be a priest for well over a decade. He knows three languages and has served in the Dominican Republic and in Colombia. He wants to be surrounded by the community. If you put me among the people, even I get nothing else, I feel comfortable and I'm happy to. By being among the faithful, Deacon Agenis wants to learn from them. The way you live your relationship, your friendship, your intimacy with Jesus, that can inspire me to build my own relationship. Deacon Agenis' classmate, Deacon Marcel Thomas, wants to build the people by bringing God to them in the Holy Eucharist. It sustains us, it nourishes us, it strengthens us. This native Brooklynite became a deacon last fall. Once he is ordained a priest, he will finally be able to change the bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. At Mass, I, I start to, to, to tear up because just the idea of being able to do, you know, what these priests are doing to consecrate our Lord in the Eucharist, and it's a beauty and it's a mystery, and um, I just want to be enveloped. Along with saying Mass, these new priests will administer God's forgiveness through the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Next week, I will introduce you to two more men, a veteran of the Navy and a businessman from Ecuador, both called to serve. Liz, back to you.